for WA. See you there. Bye. A man can talk to the animals. It's a miracle. In a year from now, I guarantee I'll be the marvel of the mammals. Playing chess with camels. No more just a boring old MD. I study every living creature's language. So I can speak. So here we are in Dubbo. And uh, this is our first night of our road trip. We didn't buy this. What didn't we buy? <laughs> <laughs> we got given it from the guys right over there. Yeah. They raised the worm, they tried. Yes. They said they didn't <laughs> like First it. First night, we can't even do it. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, drove out to Dubbo today, went to the zoo this afternoon, but all the animals were asleep. So yeah, we saw that already. So we'll, uh, we'll go and check them out in the morning, hopefully they'll be awake. Right. And they can squeak and squawk and speak. This is inside our little shelter, which we have attached to the back of the car. And we're just camped out in the middle of nowhere for a, a spot of lunch. Halfway between Ivanhoe and Indy Lakes. And that there is the train line upon which the Indian Pacific crosses the country. The ringer looks around and he's beaten by These are all the old sheds for the workmen. For the shearing shed? For the shearers? And this is the wool shed. So what's this mum? This is a weir. The outlet from Pamamaru Lake into the Darling River. There you go, that nice. And the ducks all like going for a swim on the river, apparently. So here we are at beautiful Pamamaru Lake, part of the Menindi Lakes. And this is the beach, the lake, our tent and our camp. And we've got, and we've pretty much got this all to ourselves. How good is this? And I'll just pan around across the lake. Just, oh, shush, Max. That's the view of the lake, and it just stretches off into the distance, and the sun's setting. And I'll be uh, getting the camera out, the still camera out, to do some uh, photography as the sun gets down a bit further very soon.
what the number one plane looks like. This is the old air highway. We've traveled about 15 kilometers north of the bitumen highway uh, via a dirt track that's even worse than this uh, to get to this point. Uh, we were in search of a, an old car graveyard, but uh, I realize now that the track we came up is actually the wrong one and the one we wanted is about 15 kilometers in that direction, which is back to the east. That's all right. That's all right. Hello! 
You gotta find the middle. Yeah. I think you are. <laughs> ah, he found his way out. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> meters down to the bottom so you wouldn't want to fall in because then you wouldn't be able to get out because the sides are fairly smooth. Max's first drive. So Max is driving the uh, X-Trail from Canalda Station back towards the old, uh, the new air highway but we'll have to cross the old air highway in the process. I'm driving that far. Well we'll see how you go. Hey. Uh... <laughs> oh. First time driving. How you doing? Good. Excellent. Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Well, here Max and I are standing on top of Pildappa Rock which is uh, just south of the Gawler Ranges in South Australia and from up here we have a 360 degree view. It is absolutely phenomenal. Yes, and there are birds and there are, there are all these lovely uh, pools up on the top here where obviously water collects when it rains and you can see the erosion on top of the rock. It's absolutely fantastic. are some wild kangaroos that I nearly hit when I was driving. There they go. Our first wildlife in the National Park. Silverton Hotel. see him arrive, he stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip, and everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John, 
Nobody seemed to know. So where are we, Mum? This is the Mad Max 2 Museum. Okay. In Silverton. That's one of the bad guys' cars, as you can see. New Orleans, where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen and a crashing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. If you ever have actually watched Mad Max, you would know what this is. Well, if you don't, this is the Interceptor, which he stole. Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast. Oh, there. I think it's going. Oh, cool. No, because the battery's dying. <laughs>